no KB. I can see you. Yay. Because you are hilarious. And I'm like, please come back. And we were just saying, like, we want you, like, I mean, I know you, you get paid handfuls to do it. But we were like, we wish you could do a whole set for us. Like, because you're just <laughs> hilarious. Like, well, we have to see you, actually. We have to come see you perform, too. Um, okay. But where were we, y'all? Um, um, it was on me. Yeah, so it was my question. Mm. So, KB, now you and your wife, Whitley, have been married since 2015. Mm -hmm. And you both have a show um, you do called Marriage Mondays. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the show. And what advice do you have for anyone who isn't married but seeking to be? Hmm. Yes, we do have a show. Um, seeking to get married. Uh, what I learned... It is your responsibility to heal as an individual. Okay? Because okay? uh, um, you're actually coming together in a relationship. Like this. <laughs> and, <laughs> okay? And without, without healing, you're not going to be able to say, like, hey, I see where I could have did things different. You know, I see where I was wrong. You know, uh, because your know, tra trauma is going to come up. You know, why you act like that? <laughs> like, why? Like, why you do it? Like, you don't even know how to tell your partner because you still you don't know about yourself. You know, uh. it ain't nothing without communication. You know, um, me and Whitley, well, we had to learn that. You know, because. Um, for example, with us going into the entertainment and being in the club, um, because we were, I'm 36, okay? 20s, we were working, going home, work, home. And going out and the mess, the scene, you know, we had to regroup our communication. You know, what does your anxiety look like in this room? You know, I need to be able to identify that and know what's going on. So that's where the communication comes in instead of... You mean when you were out? Um, Like, the attention, people flirting with us. Um, mm. You know, the touching of us. Like, people walk past you and squeeze a titty. You know? <laughs> what? What? That's kind of that's invading my my face. Well, I said that that happened to me out here in Atlanta, and I was just like, I don't know what gave you the impression that I want to be touched and grabbed, right? <laughs> and I had to learn we are in a certain place. People are intoxicated, and when you're the center of attention, people do get attracted to you. Not making excuses, but understanding what's going on. Okay? What? The first night I hosted, a girl jumped on me and wrapped her legs around my head. What the fuck? A hurricane? Oh, my God. My first, first night. I know. I know. What can we two piece to? <laughs> I mean, Ooh, wait, baby. Incredibly uh, athletic, this person. <laughs> I had a heart attack, right? So the communication, because she was shy to be on the stage with me or around. So that was like, hey, well, we know if you were around and more comfortable, things wouldn't ha happen. But I needed to find a way to make my wife comfortable. Is it, mate? You know what I'm saying? So it's just strategy, understanding what didn't you like, what didn't I like. How do we handle this? Because it's not fighting. We're not, you know, I didn't like it either, babe. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're violated. You're violated. Right. Yeah. You know, and also to keep the party going, too. So, like, the panic, my wife uncomfortable, everybody, oh, yeah, it's a party. <laughs> you, know, so, <laughs> you know, so we, that adjustment and we spent a lot of days talking, and I've been in therapy eight years. Mm. I love that. Thank you. And she's able to come with me. 
you know so it's like even when i'm not sure what to say you know like i want to work this out <laughs> well i'm not you know because of the tools that's why i was like yeah so that's really what it is with marriage mondays we're trying to show people we're not giving advice but this is the tool mm. you can figure it out Right. Mm. I love that. Thank you. I love you. Uh, you were inspired to become a movie director before you got into comedy. Is that still on the horizon? And could you ever see a movie based on your life as a comedian? Was that surprising? <laughs> Who you been talking about? <laughs> we do our research over here. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was good. That was good. So come everybody go like this. Let's get into some trauma, darling. Get into some trauma. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. I love a real life. So my mother um had her own production company. Okay. So, so I did grow up with her being like the silent assistant. Um, this local movies, I'm not going to say like big time, um, but she found her niche that she started doing Christian film festivals. Mm. Okay. Once you went to the church game, let's, let's smart. Let's be real. I come to your church. Can you make a movie? You can pay to be in my event and I show everybody. Ooh. Okay, so with me, I can't be a part of that because of how I look, how I carry myself. So with making movies, I had attached that to my mama. Hmm. You know, like I was making movies with her, so that it reminded me of her. She was like, "You're you're a director. You're this. You know, you behind the scenes. You this and." When I went to therapy, I was like, I want to be in front mm. <laughs> of the camera. Like, it had, it used to irritate me because we were similar in some ways because what I was going through. So I had attached that to each other. So, like, now I do want to direct my own story. But when I start to write, it really. It throws me off. I'm going to be honest. And right now, this is the most I've ever been busy. Mm. I've been booked. And it's like, I'm adjusting to the schedule. But I know I have my story. I know I'm a director. I know. But it's still that I still work on that healing bubble, to be honest. Because I got a lot of them. Yeah. But it's there. That's I'm like. <clears throat> but I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> You're so welcome. Well, Candy, <laughs> when you um, you're ready to do your movie. Let me know when the when the audition is. <laughs> you know, so I could be in it. Ooh, this is big listen, listen, I'm sure she got a character somewhere for me. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure. Sure, sure. Yes, and and it's not going to be comedy either. I'm not wanting to be. Oh, you know, uh, I kind of want to be like. A thriller spin, like a horror movie in a way. Uh -huh. Because people look at our trauma like it's funny. You know, that's that. You know, you're just you're a gay boy. That's why it happened. You're a lesbian. That's why it happened to you. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. the pain is terrifying. Yeah. And the Christian church can be a horror film. Oh, oh, oh. you heard it here first. Pay my dues. Give me my credit. Write yeah. that. Everybody write that. Write that down. Yeah. You know, so you, you see where I'm coming from. So thank you for doing that. I'm going to take that as my blessing. I'm, I'm going to work on it because I need to tell that part. Because just because people laugh at me don't mean I'm trying to be funny. Right. Well, I, I guess it's kind of like the way, because I, I do that too. Um, self, what is it? Self-deprecating where you tell a story and, you know, you're not, like, trying to be funny, but it just comes off as funny because, you know, I feel like, for me, I can, I, I'll try to make something funny out of the pain 
of what I used to go through or whatever, because mm-hmm. I don't want to think of the pain. Um, but, you know, that's life. I mean, that's what we got therapy for. Look, I still, there was something that happened to me like a week ago. I was talking to this new um, doctor. It wasn't like a therapist, but, and she made me say things. And I was like, oh, how the fuck? Well, I just noticed stuff. Like, but my therapist was like, yeah, because you probably, you, you don't talk about that often enough that it made you kind of like go back in your head, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's crazy what trauma is for us. Um, yes. Um, um, but on a lighter note, um, entertaining and a creatively, and a cr- creatively, am I saying what word? <laughs> I feel like I'm creatively. Creatively. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I thought you were speaking in tones. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> um, creatively. Creatively. What the fuck? Creatively. I was trying to make sure. Okay, because y'all was getting me. Uh, cr- creatively and figuratively, uh, safe space for the LGBTQ plus community is important. You're a part of the MSR family, which is the only lesbian bar in the Southeast and have done events there before. What does it mean to be a part of the MSR family as a creative? It's really like an honor to be like associated. Um, Cause I wasn't born in Atlanta, but I definitely grew up here. Um, I was going to Pride like at 15, 16. Uh, so to be like the customer, you know, and to able to have opportunity to work and to build a brand and to learn um because it's really hard to be associated with anybody in the entertainment game yeah. because it's, yeah. you have to protect your brand you really mm-hmm. really have to and they really take their time so like right now i'm a part of the king cast so, you know that means they just have a group of us and that we're always going to have a booking but they rotate us Mm-hmm. You know, so it's a king show every month. So it'd be this three, then I might be the part of the next three. So I feel like they really believe in local entertainment, you know, at least to give you the chance to do it. Because you can be at home. I, I hope so. Where can I go? That's what you like. Where can I go? At least try. And they have like different promoters. That's what I like. Um, I'm a big fan of Taylor Alexander. We just we just had her on the uh, had him on the show. You know, um, um, Switch. Um, no, not no, but Mug Check. You know, all you have to do is sign up, and now you get to have an opportunity to be on that big MSR stage, that big screen, because it does add value. Any content you're on it, you're performing, and you post it, you like, oh. You know, it gives that energy, no matter what. And I know the owners actually were scrubbing the floors when they moved buildings. And was, like, building their stuff. Like, their son built the stage. DJ Wolf, like, he's the DJ. <laughs> and built the stage. So, to see... Wow. Like, you need money. You need time. You need yourself. Like, I saw them actually build up a new building. And how much value it adds to the lesbian community or just yeah. the community all together. It's, it's given um, the pink of us. That's what, why we started this was, you know, because everyone's always thinking about, well, am I nationwide or am I on this, this chart? It's, you know, but you still have a community here. We are our own, own community. You know what I mean? Like us, us knowing you now, you're a part of us and we're a part of you. Um, and we should have a, a better, I think, respect for that than to be like, well, did you chart yet? You know, like, this is important. Yeah. Yes. Because once you're not on the charts, you gonna come right back here and be local. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is the most important thing. So I appreciate, I appreciate them, too, for building something for us mm-hmm. here. You know what I mean? Like that's that's beautiful. Not to take over. Come on, this is, this <laughs> okay. is the 
of the year, baby. Okay, I'm playing. <laughs> y'all gonna get signed by Revolt. It's gone. This because you better speak it. You better <laughs> speak <laughs> it. You <laughs> over you. Yes, real t- time. It's coming. It's coming. People have said that about us, so it's gonna come. We're gonna take our time. Mm-hmm. It's gonna come. I know it's gonna come. Um, <laughs> Who's next? I'm next. Because I'm not speaking anymore. (laughs) (laughs) So, KB, you said in a Voyage article that growing up, your mother had one specific rule. What happens in this house stays in this house, which is a common rule and phrase used in black households. How how did this affect you growing up, and what obstacles and challenges did this bring? Child, I can't talk today either. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. (laughs) Oh. Um, it affected me because it put me on mute, basically, you know, because it's like, that's what I, like when therapy had that breakthrough of my, because my mother is my abuser. That's why I had to identify. And I want to tell people like, we best friends. We lunch every day. Now, yeah. You no, know, like. Right. Is, I, is, it, is your mama doing this? Like, that was really my thing, and I couldn't say anything. You know, like, it's just, she paid the bills, groceries. Like, I understood that, that my father left, and she had to take over her whole house. She had me and my sister. I seen her work. So right. it was like, I didn't want to disrespect her, right. you know, because this is her house. I cannot afford none of this. You know, my dad left, she left, what do I have? So, me trying to be loyal to my mother, I didn't say anything, you know. And with therapy, I learned if it happened to me, it's my story. It is. And that was a real big pill because it's like, I'm disrespecting my mama. If I tell that's the story, if I tell she said Jesus said this, like I need to, <laughs> you know, like I need to say this because this is really her rule in her house, and I needed to be free of that, you right. know. So yeah, yeah, you had to uh, break the chains, yeah, break the chains. Whew, and it still makes me nervous. Like I still have yeah. to push with being myself and. That's why, like, some stories I'm still not ready to tell. That's why I have to practice at home. Because I I could cry. Ooh. You know? Uh. The movie, I don't want it to. Sorry. Go ahead. No, you could. Sorry. I was just, no, I see you doing, like, a, um, a one, uh, like, a one-hour special where even if you did cry, it would be, like, you know what I'm saying? It would be everything, and all in one. And I feel I feel like you would win every award. I feel like yeah, Come you have a very right relatable right story. Right. Yeah, Come right. right. You have a very relatable story. Yeah, because um, even that phrase yeah. for me very, does yeah. something for me. Yeah, <sighs> I'm not gonna cry with you. Well, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm working on too. A little, you know, a little, like, a little, like, like being <laughs> emotional. Because you're you're right. You're right. Like I have to be yeah. myself because. That's all we really have. That's like, it. I can't. And it's yeah. okay to be I'm emotional and be vulnerable, too. Like, yeah. I'll cry with you. I'm a cancer. So. <laughs> Ooh. So, it's okay. It's, it feels like a, um, a release with y'all, too. Because um, I have done other shows, but, like, y'all really was reading you know, like, I really feel um, alive with y'all. Oh. I mean, you know. You. I mean, that's it's the point of this, to make you feel comfortable and to come in and talk and tell your story from your perspective um, and, you know, your life um, and everything that you have going on also. So, I mean, so thank you for saying that. That definitely makes me feel good. Yeah. Look, we are uh, a bunch of guys that have been and, and you know yourself included a woman um had that have been through trauma and you know many of us have and a lot of us won't talk about it because we want to have the facade of it all 
Um, and that's not us. That's not me. You know, right. I, I've been like, I was on mute for a very long time, like you said. And now I, I completely found my voice and I won't shut up. <laughs> Some people don't like it. But when I, I was, <laughs> listen, when I was younger, my life was definitely look around everybody on mute when I was a kid. Like, I, mm. this person that you see before you today is definitely not who I was when I was a kid. Like, I was very shy. I, you know, I didn't have the confidence that I necessarily had now. And that was because of certain things that were going on at home and how I grew up and different traumatic experiences. Um, so this is it's what this is why it's important. This show is important. And uh, your story is also important. So that way, because, you know, people can people can relate. People can feel. People will know to go and get therapy. Maybe, you know, and, and, and I want to say, I don't know if you've been through this, but I went through like three or four therapists before I found my perfect one mm -hmm. so I, I want people to know out there sometimes you may not find a therapist who you can really yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying you may you know go around and whatever but this was so nice <laughs> it was nice it definitely was well yes, I need um Pride is coming up soon in Atlanta um and what we want to know what does Pride mean to you and how are you celebrating Pride this year Hmm. Um, pride means a lot. Do you hear? Yeah, we Um, cause pride, pride was like the first place when I was fifteen. I could be like gay for the whole, you know. Um, cause I used to change clothes. You know, the double life kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> Home use. <laughs> So, I'm 16, my friends said, hey, it's, it's a pride in the city. We caught the train. And to, like, see the queer community out in the daytime. What? Right. Start, like, style, like, the fashion, like, different size people and, like, girls flirting with me. It was just like, huh, like, I made it to the freelance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to the free land. You the freedom. This the freedom. freedom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. It used to be like, like we used to meet up at the park at Piedmont Park on Sunday, and it used to be like a radio, and we just be out there. It wasn't no tip, no sponsors. Like just, hey, we're gonna be at the park at one o'clock. Right. Old school, you know. So. It felt like I had broke out of my mother's house with pride, mm. so I was on pride. Like, yeah, I'd be excited. It was like Christmas. Like, yeah, pride this year, mm. rainbow. Like, <laughs> I'm definitely, you know, going to be doing some gay shit. Um, <laughs> so it felt like it feels like a holiday. <laughs> a bad, bad top holiday, right? So it's just, mm. it feels good to be like working pride now. Mm. To be okay. the customer, to like the person passing out flyers. Now you're on the flyer, you know, and seeing the hard work. So I, I do. I, I like the white product, black product. I like both. Well, what um, what events do you have coming up, and where can we find you because we need to support who you are? We know where to find you because clearly we did our research. Okay. But where can the people at home find you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we know it's, it's basically two people. Um, so you know we got Kate Funny, the bearded lady. Um, my next show, I'm doing making pride in the pool. What's up? Oh, for instance, okay. Um, the pressure K Friday. You gotta follow both papers. I'm separate. Um, my next show is at MSR, the King Show, and I do have October dates coming up too. I think I have November dates coming up too. So you really have to turn my notifications on and follow both of my pages, please, because. Okay. You know, things change, and it's like, I'm trying to, I'm spreading out, you know, so I like, I go, so I have a show at Mary's, you know, MSR, um, I'm trying to work on Future, so I'm just kind of spreading myself out, I'm going to Macon, I'm trying to go back to Michigan, so just stay, stay tuned. 
please. Okay. We'll see you. We see you. Well, thank you so much for definitely being a part of the Pink Clubhouse today and tonight and sharing your story with us. Um, you have been phenomenal and we look forward to hearing more from you soon. Yes. And please come back. Yes. yes. Please, please come, oh. come back. Oh. And we I, have to come I, I, check you out. We have to come see a yeah. show. Yes. I thought you were about to say we gotta come kidnap her. I'm like, <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 Come on, okay. <laughs> I just want to say thank y'all so much. Um, I really believe in y'all. Uh, I really feel the energy. Um, I feel I don't feel any clout with y'all. Um, the research is really amazing. That's how I know that y'all care. Um, I feel healing with y'all. I point things out because people don't ask me anything. I'm like, how much you making? You know, how much what? this? Well, that's really tech, y'all. Really, really tacky. Tacky. and you you got to my feelings you know y'all i really feel y'all got something going i hope y'all keep going i would love to come back hey. um, i need y'all to get like a pink house poster you know i need a t-shirt uh, i need a, i want t-shirt i want a, i want shut up t-shirt it's coming it's coming we working we working right on so i applaud y'all thank y'all so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. Oh, no, I love you. you. We love you too. Thank you for being you. We love you. When I see y'all, it's hugs. Don't don't be like, no, yes, no. We listen. We're the same in person. We, we are the same in person. Okay. Uh, so thank y'all. Hold on. I I want to say I don't hug everybody. I, I'm hugging you. I don't hug everybody. I ain't the same. He really now. He does not hug everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you know what? I'm from I'm from Texas. I'm from the South, and so we're I'm very like, hey, sugar, like, so I'm. Come on, I love a good boundary. But don't I don't don't hug me from behind. I don't. Like yeah. that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> don't do that to me because I'll start swinging. Like, like what's like, happening? <laughs> Sharp elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Prussia, by the way, wherever you are in the room. Okay. Um, he said, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, it's dap, dap him up for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. I got you. All right. This is the end. Well, have, Thank you great. again, and we will see you soon. Yeah. Continue to be great, and I'll see you for Pride. Okay. Well, yeah, I think for Pride, I am with Taylor Alexander. Oh, um, oh I do better with promo. Um, but it is a Pride show, and I'm going to send it to y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay. MSI usually do their shows on like a Monday or a Tuesday, right? If I'm must not, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. um, MSR is from Wednesday to Sunday. Oh. And it's different people on different days. Okay, okay. I was, I don't know where I'd be on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I okay. think I'm not dead. Yeah, don't get me into the clothes. It's, it's something every day, you know that. Yeah, <laughs> it's something every day. Every day. Yeah. Okay, y'all, uh, thank y'all, though. I'm going to see y'all soon. Yes. We got me to walk, get in sign. Yes, y'all going to get signed because y'all changing live. I won't mm -hmm. shut up, T-shirt going to blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. All right. All right, bro. Ready? They ready? They sleepy. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. All right, y'all. Have a good night. All right, you too. too.